Let's move into the college football viewing guide, uh, appointment viewing, as I call it, for week number one. I'm just going to let you know what games I'm going to have on my TVs. <laughs> I think that's the best way to do it. I've got four televisions in my man cave where I watch football every Saturday. Uh, so we're going to make it very, very simple here. Um, let's go ahead and move this over, which, by the way, interesting tool. I've said interesting about a thousand times a day. How about this? Really, really useful tool over at cfb.guide in your web browser. You can set the games that you want. It'll tell you what channel, et cetera, et cetera. It's got all of them. So go ahead and check that out over there, cfb.guide. I probably need to get these guys on the show that actually put this thing together. Really, really cool stuff. So on Thursday night, I'm going to be watching the Backyard Brawl and I'm going to be watching Penn State at Purdue. You can see it up here at the top there. Uh, But I think those are the two biggest ones. I'm going to have them on both of the TVs, ESPN and Fox. Uh, And then after that, I mean, there are more games, uh, which I will click over to here in just a little bit. But I'm I'm most interested in those, right? I want to see what West Virginia looks like with JT Daniels. I want to see Pitt with Keaton Slovis. I want to see Penn State going into a hostile environment for sure. On Friday night... I'm going to watch Illinois at Indiana. Again, I've got more questions than answers about both of those teams, even after watching Illinois play last week. And then on ESPN, you've got TCU heading to Colorado. Uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. That's a 9 p.m. Central kick, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I hope I hope I'm right on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a 9 p.m. Eastern time. Um, excuse me, 9 p.m. Central time. I probably should have double-checked this. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, so we will move on. Uh, no, 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 it is Central. Okay, I've, I've got this figured out now. All right, moving on to Saturday here. Uh, the 11 a.m. spot, 11 a.m. Central, God's time zone, by the way. I am going to roll with NC State at East Carolina on the main screen, and then I'm going to put North Carolina at App State on one of the secondary screens. Um, I think it's going to be awesome. Like Both of those are great games in the state of North Carolina. It really, really fun. Moving into that 2.30 slot, this is where it gets a little bit tricky, right? It, luckily, I have four televisions. Oregon at Georgia on ABC, Arizona at San Diego State on CBS, Cincy at Arkansas on ESPN, and then you've got Houston at UTSA on CBS Sports Network. These are all phenomenal games that I would probably have in a standalone spot. Uh, I got to see what's going on with Georgia and Oregon. Well, you know, Dan Lanning, of course, going back over. Arizona at San Diego State. People think I'm crazy for thinking that Arizona can win that game. Uh, But I think they can be really, really explosive. Uh, Of course, this is a Mountain West game that's going to be on CBS. Potential Pac-12, you know, future member in San Diego State. Yeah, we'll see. Currently Mountain West uh, contender. But they're opening their brand new stadium at Snapdragon Stadium there uh, in San Diego. So Cincinnati at Arkansas. That one should be a lot of fun. We just talked about Sam Pittman, et cetera. That one's going to be cool. And Houston at UTSA, again, like this is the year that they've kind of been building towards with Dana Holgerson at Houston. This is a a fun a fun ball game because Jeff Trailer has taught those boys at UTSA how to win ball games, and they are returning a ridiculous amount of production. I want to say it's something crazy like eighty four percent of their production is coming back off of a twelve and one regular season, uh, CUSA championship, et cetera. Uh, crazy. All right, 6 p.m., you've got Army at Coastal on ESPN+, and you've got Utah at Florida on ESPN. Those are both going to be awesome. But then 30 minutes later is when it starts to get crazy. I've got five games that are all going on at the same time that I want to watch. Georgia State at South Carolina, that's on ESPN+, Plus, at, right alongside with Army and Coastal Carolina. Memphis at Mississippi State is on ESPNU. I just want to see, at, because Mike Leach is still fired up about the fact that 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 punt return was not called down uh, from last year. That, that probably cost them the ball game. So that one, I think, is going to be a lot of fun. And then, of course, the main screen, we're going to have Notre Dame at Ohio State on that one uh, because i got to watch them. I just I got I to gotta see what's going on with those name brands now. It, Ohio State could get up by, like, 21, and I might flip them around, but we'll see. And then, finally, the late-night window, I am excited to see Boise State at Oregon State. Uh, it's 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Excuse me, 9.30 p.m. Central time. Uh, that one's going to be on ESPN. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Just a whole hell of a lot of fun. I am excited uh, about this entire slate. But you see on the screen, I mean, it is just absurd. The amount of games that are going on, 
that I am interested in watching. Uh, Florida State at LSU is on Sunday, and then on Monday, you've got Clemson at Georgia Tech. Like, this is this is going to be awesome. Uh, I mean, football just all day long. Here we go. So I've pulled it up to show you exactly how this thing is broken down. And once you sign into this screen, you can actually see over at cfb.guide, uh, they are, I mean, they got this thing lined up to where you can select the games that are your favorites, etc. cetera, uh, which, by the way, on Friday, there are a few more interesting games, right? Virginia Tech at Old Dominion, Western Michigan at Michigan State, Temple and Duke, you probably want to check that out. Uh, those are all going to be interesting. And then, of course, there's more on Saturday. Fox, the only game that they're showing all day on Saturday on Big Fox is UTEP at Oklahoma. Uh, just, you know, not super interesting to me, but regardless, BYU is going to South Florida. Can Jeff Scott figure things out with Jerry Bohannon, the uh, the quarterback there that transferred over from Baylor? Uh, you know, BYU, I'm real, real high on this year, so I'm hoping they get that one. Troy at Ole Miss, that's going to be interesting. SMU heading to North Texas for a night game. You know, traveling to Denton, ain't that easy. Uh, might be for SMU coming from Dallas, since that's about a 30-minute drive, but regardless, South Dakota State at Iowa. Like, there's all kind of there's all kind of games going on. The Pac-12 Network, Longhorn Network, uh, et cetera. So, Western Kentucky, by the way, that's on, uh, let's see, Spectrum. Uh, yeah, Spectrum Pay-Per-View, I think, is Western Kentucky at Hawaii. You're not going to be able to easily watch some of those for sure. But yeah, ESPN Plus, you know, Florida Atlantic going to Ohio. I mean, it just the whole the whole weekend's going to be loaded, absolutely loaded. So, all right, we're going to get out of here. Oh, interesting one there, Liberty at Southern Miss. Yeah, I'm I'm excited to see what Will Hall's doing in year two there uh, at Southern Miss. By the way, uh, Hugh Freeze, I know what he's doing. It got Charlie Brewer as the uh, as the new uh, the the new quarterback. Excuse me. All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.